It was a brand that experienced short-lived popularity in the mid-1980s until its lack of quality and unreliability transformed the Yugo into a joke with a reputation as the worst car ever made. Bob Osechik of Simsbury, Connecticut has owned a 1986 Yugo GV for more than nine years. If you ask my wife, she says she would say he always liked the, he always likes the odd stuff. Made in Yugoslavia and based on a Fiat model, the Yugo was sold in the U.S. between 1985 and 1992. Osechik found his in an online ad in November 2012. It had only 53 miles on the odometer. There was a real estate uh, firm that had it, and they were cleaning out a garage in Vine Street in Hartford. And a gentleman uh, that lived there passed away, and his wife was selling off the house and the contents of the garage. Its condition was like new. This is basically the way it looked, but it had dust on it. The asking price was $1,900, but Osechik lowballed the seller by noting the brand's history. He said, yeah, we, we understand that. I said, how about if I give you 1000 I thought the gentleman was going to jump over to the desk and kiss me. He says, yes, yes. I said, I could probably could have offered him $500. Having made the deal and gotten the bill of sale, Osechik had the Yugo transported by flatbed to a repair shop for a thorough going over. When he was going through Hartford, people were stopping him at the light and say, what's on a truck? What is that car on a truck? And he said, I couldn't believe the amount of the amount of interest in that car. As for the checkup? I says, get it running, see what you think. Well, he called me up and said, we have good news and bad news. Good news, it runs like hell. It runs great. The bad news, you need tires. I said, oh, thank God, that's all I fine. And uh, they got it all cleaned up for me and uh, brought it home. While getting it titled and registered proved to be problematic, the Yugo has been a fun acquisition for Osechik. I do like to drive. I, I hate to see a car sit. Like somebody will put it on. I says, I drive it. I take it to work. I work across the street on Simsbury Farms Golf Course. And uh, we, uh, I drive it over there, give it a little exercise. The subcompact Yugo is powered by an 1100cc four-cylinder engine and it has a manual transmission. You can do 70 with this on the highway, but it's, you know, it's, you're, you're stretching it. I drive it around town, 40, 50 different areas, very comfortable. No, you know, it's not straining. It has quit on him a couple of times, but it has also provided some surprises. So I, one day I'm sitting in the back seat, just trekking to see what, how it feels to sit in the back seat. Well, behind the seat, there's a zipper. So I open up the zipper and there's all the paper, the manuals. I have all the manuals for this car from, in sales brochures. And I said, this is gold. So I have, I have everything that it's documented with this car and uh, in, a, in my little storage box. The Yugo has now been driven more than 3,000 miles and still looks in showroom condition. Osechik isn't bothered by its shoddy reputation. In fact, he finds it humorous. I have a rear window defoster. And the joke is that, is that it keeps your hands warm while you're pushing it. For Ride Connecticut, I'm Bud Wilkinson.